The inside are number three, driving the 5E. That is Mel Ellsbury. And to the outside, he currently sits second in the point standings. That's the 41 of Jason Pop Pop War. And your final road to the inside is going to see from Stewart, Nebraska, on his way to Boone, the 7SK of Mark Krieger and the 1J of Casey Jones. As they come off turn number four, green flag is out and we're underway. Sid Mosier going to lead the field into turn number one. Here comes Ron Harris, Jason Ward through the middle now. Hans Holfeck, four wide off turn number two. As Sid Mosier led the field through one and two. You put him four deep between Harris, Ward, Holfeck, and Cage Thomas. As Ward to the inside of Harris trying to slide for second. Cannot get it done. Big Mosier still with a race lead. As Casey Jones in the 1J bobbles, he gets shuffled all the way to the back of the pack. Great battle out in front there with Sid Mosier leads. Mosier leads Harris and Ward right behind him as Harris going to look to the inside once again. Mosier, as always, able to get a better run off that higher line. The high groove is where it's at tonight, boys and girls, as Mosier once again holding off Harris. Now Ward trying to look to the inside of the 49 of Harris. He wants a spot in the second place and a chance to go after Big Sid for the lead. Hans Holpik, he is on the express train to glory as he is now trying to go to the whip to catch up to that battle. Now Ryan Harris to the inside of Sid Mosier. The battle for the lead is on. It is Mosier. Harris, Mosier bobbles ever so slightly. Harris is right there. They're side by side as they go down into three and four. The white flag is going to be out this time by as it's going to be a Harris at the line by half a car length. Now here comes Jason Ward. Jason Ward trying to get in there as Harris is going to take the lead. Ward second. And caution is out for the KT69 of Cage Thomas. Wow, Scotty. Definitely a battle up front between Mosier, Harris, and Ward. Oh, I'll tell you, that coming out of turn two, Harris managed to get the lead and Ward just powered it in there, man. That's, that was awesome. Tell you what, Scotty, this is getting exciting and we still have another heat race to go yet. Yes, we do as they come off turn number four this time by Green Flag is out, we're back underway. Ryan Harris leads him in a turn one and two. Jason Ward choosing the high side this time, Sid Mosier. Back to that third place spot. Hans Holfeck in fourth. Ellsbury still in fifth. White flag going to come out this time by Mosier to the inside as Ryan Harris sees the white flag. It is Harris. Ward. Mosier side by side. Here comes Hans Holfeck. Holfeck in the mix now. Holfeck to the inside of Sid Mosier as Ryan Harris takes home the heat race win. Jason Ward second. Sid Mosier is going to be third. That was too close to call at the line between Mel Ellsbury and Hans Holfeck. So a couple of uh, my regulars from the uh, off-road speedway coming down to race tonight. So as they come through three and four, Matt Stubbe flag in hand. Green is out, we're on our way with heat race number two. Wayne Becker, Jeremy Hodgkinson, a little tap down the front stretch, no harm, no foul. Once again, Wayne Becker in that WW2 car, new car to him, trying it out here tonight as he's gonna have that third place spot, but here comes Barker on the high side. Hoskinson going to lead lap number one. Tajiro running second. Here comes Barker to the outside. No, can't do it. Got on the binders. Wayne Becker in third. Travis Barker in that fourth place spot. Rounding out top five. Greg Taylor to pick by JR. Hoskinson in that Aurora Agronomy Prairie Valley seats number 26. Still leading, holding off a hard charging Tajiro in the 94. 
Wayne Becker once again, car new to him. He's holding on to third, but just as I say that, Travis Barker's gonna get by him for that third place spot. Oh, he's loose. Wayne Becker got a little bit loose. Greg Taylor had hit the binders, but avoided him. It is now Hoskinson, Jerome, Barker, Becker, and Taylor, your top five. Two laps to go with the hands of Chief Starter, Matt Stubbe. It is gonna be Jeremy Hoskinson once again leading him into three and four. Todd Giroux going to the whip, but can't make up much more ground on the 26. Wide flag is out, one lap to go. Hoskinson through one and two, smooth as silk. He's gonna send it down the back stretch as he's gonna go through three and four one last time. It's gonna be Jeremy Hoskinson with the win. Todd Giroux second, Travis Barker third, Wayne Becker fourth. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a yellow at the bottom of turn one. Tyler Steckelberg, seven car. Yeah. All right, checkered flag was out. So that is going to be your, your finish as Jeremy Hoskinson will win. Todd Giroux second, Travis Barker third, Wayne Becker in fourth, and the 55 GR Greg Taylor will round out top five. As they come off turn four, ladies and gentlemen, the track is set and these drivers are game. This is a class too tough to tame. It is your J&J Phoenix IMCA Stock Cars Parade Lab. Get on up and show them some love. They're going to put on a great show for you here tonight under the Friday Night Lights at the new Raceway Park in Jefferson, South Dakota, fueled by Total Motors of Lamar's. Again, keep an eye on row number five. Travis Barker with the points lead over Jason Ward by five points. That is it. Five points with two nights to go. Anything can happen. This championship is the closest battle we have this year, and it's far from decided. RPMs are going to come up, and we are green. It is going to be Wayne Becker with the early advantage of 26, Jeremy Hoskinson. Oh, Hoskinson is going to take over the lead as Becker bobbled. Becker also got a little shot in the shorts for his trouble. And they're racket stacking and packing each other up. Trying to go three wide, four wide. Oh, and Wayne Becker goes around, collects Mosier. And Greg Taylor, the 55 JR caution coming out. 13 of Glenn Jones also caught up in that, as is the 1J of Casey Jones, the Jones boys getting caught up in that as well. And uh, wow. As the 26 car, Jeremy Hodgkinson is going to lead the field down into turns three and four. Ryan Harris, Todd Giroux, Mel Ellsbury, and Jason Ward, your current top five. As Green is out, and we're underway. Great start by Ryan Harris in the 49 car to the inside of Jeremy Hodgkinson. Now coming off turn two, slides across the nose. Here comes Hodgkinson back to the inside. As Greg Taylor up against the wall in turn number one. Caution flag coming out for the 55 JR. So Jeremy Hodgkinson still with the race lead. Gonna go green next time by 17 laps remain up on the board. Coming into turn three and four, Hodgkinson way up high. Now green flag is out, we're underway. Hodgkinson with a great restart in the 26 car. Ryan Harris down to the low side of the tack. Oh, as Hodgkinson goes around, spinning into the infield. That's gonna move Ryan Harris and Todd Giroux fighting for that top spot now. Jason Ward in the 41 car into the mix as well. Jason Ward up to that third place spot. And then it's Mel Ellsbury and Travis Barker. Hoskinson rejoins the racing surface off turn number three. Todd Giroux out in front in car 94. The 94 and the 49 flip the numbers around. They are battling for first and second as Harris. Been looking on the low side, now he's gonna go to the high side. He is gonna go to the whip coming out too. Almost gets up to the left rear corner of Giroux. 
Not quite able to do that. Now here comes Ward and Barker. A little bit of contact between their points leaders. Yellow is out. Jeremy Hoskinson sitting on the back stretch in car 26, bringing out the caution. And look who's beside Ryan Harris, Jason Ward in the 41 car, and Travis Barker right behind him. Ward sits third, Barker sits fifth. Coming to this restart off turn number four. Todd Giroux's gonna lead him down. Harris with a good start, they're side by side. But Giroux getting a bump draft from the 41 of Ward. Ward knows he has got to go. It is still Giroux and oh, we got the seven of Tyler Steckelberg around. Caution's out. Oh, looks like also the seven SK Mark Krieger down there at the bottom of one as well. Pair sevens going for the spin cycle at the bottom of turn number two. Steckelberg to the work area now. All right, as they come through turns three and four, try this again. Green is out of work, back underway. Tajiro leads the field down into turn number one. Shoes in the low line this time. Jason Ward through the middle, up to that second place spot. Here comes Barker. Travis Barker to the outside of Mel Ellsbury. Up to fourth, wanting a little more. Barker now cuts down through the middle of the racetrack, side by side for second. Give second to Jason Ward in the flag stand. Todd Giroux, Jason Ward, Ryan Harris. Oh, jump the wheel of the 41 car. Crossover by Jason Ward. Now down into turn number three. Side by side, Jason Ward wants the lead. Slides up almost four wide. Coming off turn number four. Side by side, three wide for the second place spot. Jason Ward, he tried to make a slider and it cost him as he lost ground to Travis Barker, who is now up into second. Here he goes again. This time he's got to complete the slider. Oh, we got problems. As Ward completed the slider, Barker and Harris hit the brakes, and Mel Ellsbury, unfortunately, got the rough end of that stick as he got caught up by the two cars jamming on the brakes and spun. Caution is out for the 5E of Mel Ellsbury. Todd Drill, the 94 car with the race lead. Travis Barker sits in second, chooses the low side. Jason Ward. In car 41 in third, Ryan Harris, Glenn Jones. As we're coming to green, this time off turn number four. Todd Giroux is gonna lead him down the front stretch off into turn number one. Barker Ward side by side. Ward with a better run off the higher line. He is gonna take over that second place spot. Barker now go goes to hunting him on the 41. He's gonna turn and go down to Pat down the hill. Patent it move side by side with Ward. The battle is back over second and third. Meanwhile, Glenn Jones sitting in fourth, Ryan Harris in fifth, but Harris under pressure from, look at this, Jeremy Hoskinson back up there trying to poke his way into the top five and will get it done. Big Sid Mosier also working on the 49 Harris as it looks like the 5X Wayne Becker, every which way but straight, he's gonna gather the car back up to keep it running. But right now it is 10 Oh, car around, going. bottom of turn number two, one Jake. It's going to be Casey Jones at the bottom of turn number two, trying to get a refire. Caution flag is out. And caution's back out. So, single file restarts from here on out, Scotty, which means we are almost up to that time limit. Casey Jones being credited with his second caution of the night. He will be done for the evening. As it come into turn three and four, single file restart. Green flag is out of work, back underway. Tajiro leads him. Travis Barker to the back bumper of the 41 machine through turns one and two. Ryan Harris, Glenn Jones up the hill. Jeremy Hoskinson follows in suit. Jason Ward topside. Travis Barker turns down the hill. Still has that third place spot as these two cars duking it out for second and third while trying to catch the 94 Tajiro. Jason Ward all over the back bumper of the 94 car. Up to the top side, points it down the hill. Barker follows suit. Oh, side by side, Ward poked the nose to the inside of Giroux. 
Here comes Parker as well. Parker on the minors, three wheel into the 94 car off turn number two. Oh, and Jason Ward in the wall. Shower of sparks. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of damage, but he is in danger of losing second to Parker. And the caution is out. Debris in three and four. You gotta think that is gonna be from the 41 of uh, Jason Ward. Oh my, Scotty, whoa. Is there going to be damage that Ward doesn't know about? And he is going to pull it in flat right front tire. Oh, that's going to start him from the back, Scotty, with only six laps to go. Is this going to possibly be something that hurts him big time in the points battle, or can he work his way back up and at least get within striking distance of the 30 of Barker? for championship night. Coming in at turn number three, just got a little too high right rear off the wall, sending the right front into the wall, causing that flat tire on the 41 machine. So tire change going on the 41 car right now. Six laps to go when we go back to green. So they're going to go back to green now, this time by Tajiro Travis Barker. Green is out, and we're underway. Tajiro leading the field down into turn number one. Travis Barker right on the back bumper. Ryan Harris, Jeremy Hoskinson back in the top five in the 26 car. Mel Ellsbury rounding out the top five. Travis Barker crossover move. Oh, as they get together, the 94 and the 30 car get together on the front stretch. Todd Giro and Travis Barker three wheeling it off turn number two now into turn number three. Four laps to go this time by for Todd Giro in car 94. Giro still out in front as Ryan Harris shoots down the hill. So does Glenn Jones in one and two. Travis Barker out. In that second place spot, crosses it over the nose of the 26 car. Jeremy Hodgson back up to that third position. Barker on the binders, back on the gas in one and two, trying to get that car to turn. As he goes up to the high side now, Hodgson running in third, trying to get it on. Green flag is out, two laps to go. Giroux, Barker, Hodgson, Ellsbury, and Harris, your current top five. Barker doing everything he can to try to get around the 94 car, Giro. Barker up to the high side once again, now cuts down the low. White flag is out one more time around. Barker to the high side, Diamond to the corner. Now can't try to get a run on the 94, cannot do so. Pull side by side with him in turn three and four. Barker up the hill on the brakes, now points the nose down the hill, coming to the line, Travis Barker wins your A feature here in car number 30. Barker wins, Todd Giroux second, Jeremy Hoskinson third, Mel Ellsbury and Ryan Harris round out your top five. Oh, Travis, we gotta talk. That was an epic run. Talk about, first off, the run getting up to second and getting behind uh, Todd Giroux. Um, just tried to Weed my way through there. Ward, uh, Ward tried to knock down the wall. That that definitely helped me. Now, the second part of that is talk about you tried everything. You threw everything but the kitchen sink. Then threw the kitchen sink and the faucets from Sam's Club at Todd Giro. Talk about going in three and four when you saw what Todd did and you knew it was going to be a drag race. I just said, said to myself, thank you as I was sitting in the race car. I, as soon as I seen the push real bad, I knew we at least had a shot, so. Now you came in here with a five point lead. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit bigger going into championship night. Uh, talk about that, cause you got one more night for a second championship. Yeah, it, anything can happen. We're just gonna come out and try to try to talk to you at the end of the night, so. All right, well congratulations and uh, we'll see you back here championship night. Thank you. Once again, your J&J Finning stock car feature winner in a barn burner, the 30 of Travis Barker.